Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about the world's fastest and Russia's most advanced long-range strategic bomber, the Tu-160 White Swan will be equipped with a new long-range developmental, the KHBD Bruce missile, with a maximum range of 6,500 kilometers. This will certainly enhance the Russian long-range aviation fleet's strike capabilities, now with added diversity of the numbers of weapons they could use depending on situational needs. The deployment was unveiled during Kim Jong-un's visit to Russia. Russian officials showed of different aircrafts, ship missiles, and tour Kim into the Russian military production facility. The Russian Ministry of Defense is also planning to deploy their most modern variant, which the Tu-160M in the Amur region in the Far East. According to them, the move would neutralize threat in the Pacific region, pointing out the United States and especially Japan, which has a long-standing territorial dispute with Russia in the Kuril Islands. The missile has a low observable shaping like the KH-101, and it'll certainly have the ability to change directions mid-flight to confuse the enemy's air defense system. However, the Russian Ministry of Defense didn't specify if the missile could carry nuclear warheads like the KH-101. The KHBD missile is housed in two cartridges of the bomber carrying six missiles each. This means that a single Tu-160 can carry up to 12 KHBD missiles. In theory, the KHBD long-range missile, when launched from a very fast-flying long-range aircraft, it makes it possible to strike very far and valuable targets that could complicate the adversary's war planning if they know all their valuable assets is within range. This gives them a hard time to plan a defense and move them even further to protect them, thus make it harder to launch an offensive with a logistics supply, a forward operating base and command center very far from the front lines. The KHBD 6500 km range plus the Tu-160's 12500 km range would allow the Russian long-range aviation force to fly around the globe from different directions and attack the enemy from behind or whichever weak point of their air defense umbrella. This allows the Tu-160 to launch a long-range attack without the Tu-160 leaving the safety of the Russian airspace. For example, a strike on Great Britain or on the east coast of the United States can be done from relatively safe areas over the Arctic, far of reach from NORAD's air defense line. The KHBD is also expected to be fired in a salvo of missiles and not by a single shot. For example, 12 missiles heading towards a target and constantly changing directions could overwhelm the enemy's air defenses and increase the chances of a hit. In 2018, Russia has restarted production and ordered 10 UTU-160M. Russia is also planning to upgrade their older 16 Tu-160 to Tu-160M variant. The Tu-160M would incorporate the new K042 K1 navigation system, a new ABSU-201 autopilot system, and the new NK3202 turbofan engine, the world's most powerful combat engine ever developed, producing up to 55,000 pounds of thrust. The new aircraft would also be fitted with Novella NV-1.70 radar, a cockpit glass display, the latest communication and anti-jamming electronic support measure system. The Tu-160 and the Tu-22M2 bomber is expected to be in service until 2030 or beyond, until the underdevelopment PACTA long-range stealth bomber would enter service and replace them. The Tu-160 has a crew of four, pilot, co-pilot, weapon specialist, and defensive systems officer. The aircraft has length of 177 feet, height of 43 feet, wingspan of 4,300 square meter. It has maximum takeoff weight of 275,000 kilograms, including 44,000 kilograms of bombs. It has a maximum speed of 2,220 kilometers per hour and maximum range of 12,300 kilometers. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.